Smokescreen tried to cheer Bulkhead up, who believed he was trying to take his place. He told him that he could use the armor that he got off of Starscream, referring to it as an instant muscle suit. Bulkhead felt as though the armor was instead a crutch for him, as he knocked the Apex armor out of Smokescreen's hands. As Bulkhead became angered, he started to depart. Smokescreen was pushed aside by the former, in amazement, he uttered out Bulkhead's ability to walk being regained. As Bulkhead started to train by lifting the lobbing ball, Smokescreen believed Bulkhead was ready to go back in the battlefield and again confront Decepticons. When the Decepticons got hold of a Project Damocles satellite, Optimus led a team including Smokescreen to a military base in Colorado to protect the satellite's control codes. They ended up tangling with Decepticons, and Smokescreen was almost hit by the laser from the orbiting satellite. Smokescreen tried a solo attempt to get to Soundwave's location but was almost hit again before being called to join Bulkhead in fighting Silas. Despite the two's best efforts, Smokescreen and his fellow Autobot failed to defeat the Decepticon, who escaped from their grasp via ground bridge. The two, however, did bear witness to a comet. As it passed, Bulkhead concluded that Silas's plan had failed and the two high-fived each other on their success. After doing this, Smokescreen admitted to Bulkhead that he had previously studied every one of the Wrecker's battles. This assured Bulkhead, whom at this point ended his jealousy of the new Autobot taking his place and became a friend to Smokescreen. 